guys, this is Stephanie and I'm Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. Today I'm coming to you guys with my super huge, awesome, amazing library haul and my sister-in-law Naomi. She went Hi. with me to the library sale and was it amazing? Yes, it was. Was it a little overwhelming? Yes, it was. It was a lot more than I thought it would be. It was so much fun. I was so happy to go. It is literally my favorite day of the year. Happens to be my mom's birthday this, this day, this year. I did call her and say happy birthday. Daughter points. But it is my favorite day and I even put a Facebook status up. I never put a Facebook status up. I said today is book day. Yay. I'll go like it. I haven't been on there. Go like I'll it. go like it. <laughs> I have people make comments like, is it every day book day? I'm like, you don't understand anything. It's better than day. Christmas. It That's is what better my than husband Christmas. Said. So how's it going? Like, this is better than Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. All the books. This is great. It's so great. I'm going to put that footage in now. We took a little bit of footage from it, not a ton, but I'm going to show that now. Has something she needs to. Yeah, you have to say it again just like that. I'm buying all the books for No, no that's not what you said. said. I won't be buying any more books for the rest of the year. Hey, look at all these books. <laughs> They're not all my the, books. Uh, this is, well, look Dawson's. at all of them anyway. And then this one is mine, and then that one's mine. There's two oh, back there for McKenna, and there's three back there for Naomi. Me, she bought da, 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 da. So, we're going to show you guys the books we have. We're going to kind of keep it quick because we got a lot of books. I got 105 books. I got 157. <laughs> Actually, I had a dream she got 190, so my dream was wrong. I didn't quite make it. But she That's got okay. three boxes of books. Holy what? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So much fun. And I spent $172, which is pretty good for 105 books. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. 265. That is, yeah. But we are moving, and the place we are moving to, I do not think I'm going to find used books there. I'm trying to talk her into don't. coming back here every year for the sale. <laughs> it's in September next year. Drive right, 18 hours. Get some books. It is tempting, not gonna lie. Well, I have a whole year to convince you, so. We're gonna start with our kids' books because Naomi has children's. I do! And I just act like a child. So, <laughs> that is why I have books for me. Okay, so I, I got some kid books, not a ton. I'll show them to you. I got Politically Correct Bedtime Stories, Modern Tales for Our Life and Times by James Finn Garner. And I actually have one called Another one that's similar to this one, and it's by the same guy. It's called like Politically Correct Fairy Tales or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. I've had a long yeah. time. Really, really funny. I got The Best Pet of All <laughs> by David LaCrell, and this is about a dinosaur. This is great. Naomi found this one for me. It's a dragon. Or dragon. A dargon. I love dargons. The mom said, you can't have a dog. And he's like, can I have a pet dragon? If you can find a dragon to bring home, sure. And he does. He does. So. I'm excited. I'll read it to my dog. Uh, <laughs> Frog and the Princess continued, and this is one I had when I was a kid, and I loved when I was a kid. I also had Goldilocks and the Three Bears and Three Little Pigs. Both of these are by um, James Marshall, who is an author, and he's also the um, illustrator, and he's a very specific illustration style. It was one that we loved as children. George and Martha books. He does the George and Martha books with the two hippos. And he does the stupids. Really Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, we like those. Stupid. We weren't allowed to call people stupid when we were kids. Oh. <laughs> so we would use them as the characters from the family. Mom and dad stupid. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm sure we were super smart about it. Uh, don't let the pigeons stay up late. This one was funny. You found this one for me too. Yeah. By Mo Williams. It's a simple one about people, about like basically a kid who just want to go to bed. 
Honestly. <laughs> Zombelina dances the Nutcracker. It's a zombie kid. I'm about mm -hmm. that. And then the last one I got is Duncan the Story Dragon. Again, another dragon. I got a thing for dragons. All of the books. This is why you do CrossFit. This is why I CrossFit. Right here. <laughs> so I can hold books. <laughs> okay, the first is The King with Horse's Ears and Other Irish Folk Tales. Not gonna lie, I didn't buy this for myself. I bought this for Hannah and Lucky. So if you actually watch this, which I don't think you will because the internet at your house sucks, I'm giving this to you. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so there's that. The Many Mice of Mr. Bryce by Dr. Seuss. I love this Dr. Seuss. This is really cute. Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. If you haven't, th this is so cool. This is Amazing Mazes by somebody. Oh, look, Rolf Hyman? I don't know. He is a genius. This is so cool. It's all different types of mazes to, oh, that's a dumb one. Hold on, like this. Get through that. <laughs> so, I had to go through it backwards. Yeah, so yeah, I cheated. Really fun. This is Let's Go Froggy. And I read this to my niece Bethany when she was a little girl. And I still remember all of this, reading <laughs> this to her. So, very cool. Bethany's like, what, 24? So, uh, give or take. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Harold and the Purple Crayon. Everyone knows that one. Yes. Make Way for Ducklings. And Make Way for Ducklings too. <laughs> this Not is, sequels. This is called. I didn't realize I already had one and I was excited because <laughs> ducks are my favorite. A duckling! So, Strigonona at Steph's recommendation. I love Strigonona. Okay, the robot. A robot is made of so many parts. One mouth, a pair of eyes, and two arms. But a robot is more than just a pile of parts. It's what inside that makes him tick. The description is longer than the book. So that was just really funny it's, to me. That's the whole reason I bought it because I thought it was so funny that it's this long description about what's inside matters and this will, I'm like, that and it was like $2. The little engine that could. Cupcake. This is really cute. Ooh. A friend for dragon. He becomes friends with an apple. Little Miss Stubborn and Little Miss Helpful. The Little Miss and Little Mister books are great. I spent over an hour trying to find more of these, but it wasn't meant to be. Did you know those are Look British? Look at them. Are they real? Yeah. Yeah, I never caught on to that when I was well, a kid. I was job, reading Brits. one. When you spend the night at our house, we read you bedtime stories. And we read those to somebody once, read one, and it was clearly British. And I was like, huh, I didn't know they were originally British. How interesting. Wow. Yeah. The Snowy Day. This is a classic one. The, the Paper Bag Princess by Robert M. Munch. I Wish That I Had Duck Feet. Flora and Tiger. 19 very short stories from my life by Eric Carl. My kids love Eric Carl. See? Ha! Ah, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. They have a board book that their Uncle Ben and Aunt Katie got for them. And I have taped that no less than six or seven times included and whatever. So I think they'll be excited to have a fresh copy to hopefully <laughs> not completely ruin. We'll see. Yeah. There are cats in this book. Uh, this actually is kind of unique. Look, there's... And there's then cats. the cats are like, huh? Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Are you nice? You look nice. But just so it's just all different things you can find find the cats on different pages. So Danny and the Dinosaur. That's a good one. They have a tiny version? I guess they do. And here it is. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. So that is another good Dr. Seuss. That's a good one. Tools rule! Tools rule. Okay, so my son is obsessed with tools right now and we keep having to tell him. He cannot play with the fire poker or the hammers and screwdrivers and everything that mom uses. No. Treasure Planet. This I got because my husband loves Treasure Planet and we have other storybooks from movies. And so I know he will be very excited about this one. that movie. All right, you're going to watch it, right? And shake. Shake. Okay. All right. Good. Good. All right. You have it? Uh, we do. Yes. Okay. Then we I can borrow it. it. Borrow it tomorrow. Thunderboy Jr. Hmm. This is really cute. It looks cute. I I read all of these while I was there because I was like, I don't want to buy a book and this then be like, so why did I buy this? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. The story of the Amazon princess. So I want to introduce my kids to Wonder Woman. The ants go marching. The odd egg. Uh, it looks like a duck book. A book of duck. I like ducks. Over there. Uh, over there. Okay. My granny went to market. And this is cool because it's... The grandma goes all around the world. Oh, sorry, sorry, Steph. There you are. The grandma goes all around the world, different places, finding different stuff. And then this, hopefully my daughter will not ruin this very quickly. She loves board books. She loves reading. Welcome to Mamoko. 
and it shows you different things you can look for through these different pages. Lots to look at though. It's really great for kids. So I think that's all my kid books. Yay! Victory. That's a lot. My kids will be happy. <laughs> Merry Christmas to them. So these are now my middle grade books, middle grade ish books that I got. And I got some of those choose your own adventures. I don't know if you guys remember these from when you were kids. I had it when I was a kid and I love them. They had a big box of them. So I got the bottles, the abominable snowman. Can I say that? <laughs> Did it. Space and beyond in mystery <laughs> of Yura Sanki. I don't know what any of them out. Let's face it. They're all basically the same plot. Boom. And then you choose your own way and you die. That's how it works. How it always works. I got very nearly honorable League of Pirates Magic Marks the Spot by Caroline Carlson. It just sounded fun and interesting and it looks like a really quick read as well. Nice big, not that you can see that, <laughs> nice big print. I think it'll be a fun one. I got Quidditch Through the Ages. Uh -huh. yes. That's a good one. To go on my Harry Potter shelf. Hey kid, wanna buy a bridge? <laughs> Time Warp Trio by John Skitskanska. I can't even say his name. But it looked fun, it looked interesting, and that's what I tend to buy. Then the last few that I got are by Septimus Heap. Uh, I think these are the Magic series. They didn't have the second one, so I got book one, Magic. I got book two, Physic. I like that things are spelled weird. Well, probably because I can't spell. Four is Quest. Questy. Um, five is Siren. Siren? Who can say? Who can, who can even say? Uh, book six is dark with an E and <laughs> dark book seven is fire. That's how I spell fire. Mm. And then they have another one, which I got called Pathfinder, which I think is another series by the same dude. That's it. So I guess Suzanne Collins wrote more than the hunger game, which I didn't know. Who knew? So we have, it's the underland chronicles. So I got one, two, three, four, and five. Is that good enough? That's really good. I feel like I a lot say. of the books at the sale, they don't have the first one. I found that a lot of things, a lot of Be series. Home. This one. And then that one. Did you see that? And then that. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, so that, this, very good book. Bridge to Tabitha. This Ooh. book I bought solely because of its name. Because my name is Naomi. You don't see that very often. So, becoming and Naomi it looked, Leon. it looked okay on the back, so. But has and then we have, yes, and we have a couple, oh, we might have more Tinkerbell books. So my, both of my kids love Tinkerbell, so this could be something that they could find interesting. Tinkerbell? That he is my favorite fairy. The Little Prince? I've never read that. I have not, but we saw a preview for the movie and my husband was like, we have to read this. We have to watch this. I was like, cool. And I found it. Henry Huggins by Beverly Cleary. I text dead people. That just seemed like a very fun premise. <laughs> and I liked the art. It's very pretty. Um, I like spooky stuff. Not like, not like creepy disembodied heads and things like that. But um, just spooky. Spooky is fun. Spooky. A little spook town. She's more brave than I am, guys. Spook town. Lulu and the Brontosaurus. That one sounds good. Yes. Big Fish. The Borrowers. I loved this one as a kid. I remember that one. And then <laughs> one through eight, minus number two of... Thanks, number two. The Boxcar Children. Yay. So you read those when you were a kid? I did. I loved them. I'm sure they would drive me insane now, but hopefully it would be something that my kids would enjoy. And then all of these are, this is exciting to me. These are all American Girl books. Um, I really like American Girl stuff. It's a very good introduction to history. So it's mostly like introductory ones because I've got a whole set of a couple of them. The mixed up files, Miss Basil E. Frankweiler. That is correct. Mm hmm. Steph's read it. I have not. It's cute. Beezus and Ramona. Yeah. It's a lovely 90s photo. Socks. The cat. Ramona's World. That makes me think of Elmo's World. If that hmm. tells you anything about how old my kids are. Ramona and her father. Ralph S. Mouse. We have the mouse and the motorcycle, but not this one. Which one's first? Uh, mouse and the motorcycle. This one's second. Nice. Um, and then Ellen <coughs> Tebbits. Who looks pretty cool. Pippi Longstocking, Titanic, first out of three books, so we never get to the sinking in this book, but I still thought it was interesting. Um, Just so. the fun part of them. <laughs> <laughs> the sinking's not that much fun, scary. <laughs> 
I, I, I have been interested in stuff about the Titanic ever since I was like five or six and I got a book at school about it. So was it the last book? Thinking <laughs> <No. laughs> I read it over no, and over. No, no. It showed depressing. the schemat it showed the schematics <clears throat> for the ship and how it was built. It was really cool. Um, so I, I thought it was very interesting. Black Beauty, Mrs. Pickle Wiggles Magic. I like these books. These are, she has a couple and they're fun. Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, she knows how to deal with children and get them to behave. She like a Mary Poppins. Kind of, but weirder. Uh, so this is Adventures with Arnold Lobel. Uh, if you don't know Arnold Lobel, he writes like Frog and Toad. Oh, yeah. It's really great. So there's easy reading books about mice. So there's lots of fun stuff in there. Oh my gosh, more Tinkerbell. Tink in a fairy. Henry and the Paper Out. I really liked this one when I was a kid. Ella, Top 100 Novels for Youth. Ella Enchanted. <laughs> okay, I have to take all these stickers off. I hate stickers on books. I do too. All right, Ramona Quimby, age eight. This is The oh, the Time Travelers, book one in the Gideon Trilogy. I don't know, it just look cool. That's all I got. And then these books are really good. Uh, I haven't read this one. Uh, this is Frank Peretti, The Deadly Curse of Toko Ray. There are, there's a set of these that are green and then a set that are blue and I have all the blue ones and they are fun. And then I also oh, got yeah. the Choose Your Own Adventure books, The Snowman. Oh, well, I got some different ones in you. Uh -huh. I got Track Star and Moon Quest. And then also Oregon Trail Choose Your Own Adventure. What? So hopefully we one. will not die of dysentery <laughs> or of a broken leg. Oh man, Just there's the nothing you can key. do to help anyone. Well, that's a sad Oregon Trail. Uh, and I only got a few YA ones. I would say, I mean, they don't have a ton at the book sale. They don't have a lot of YA stuff. I got Unwind by Neil Schusterman, just one that I've heard about. I've heard it's dark, but like it, so hopefully I'll like it. Uh, City of Thieves by David Benioff, and this is one. It takes place during the Siege of Leningrad, I believe, and um, these guys are hired by like the richest man in Leningrad to find eggs. <laughs> like their lives depend on it, basically. Find eggs for a cake for his daughter's birthday. It is a pretty cover, actually. The other covers I've seen in this aren't pretty, but this one actually is. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really good story in a really sad time. Tell the Wolves I'm Home. Somebody said this was the best book they read last year, and I couldn't tell you who it was, oh, wow. but I'm glad to have it and read it. And the last one I got is 12 Days of Dash and Lily, and this is by David Leventhin, and I can't read the other name. Oh, Rachel Cohen. And this is the second one in the Dash and Lily ones, which I haven't read the first one, but I own this one now, so there's that. So I got The Host. Um, I have not read any of the Twilight books or seen any of the movies. You're missing nothing. So I have heard, but uh, my brother Mark read this, I want to say, and said, oh my gosh, I was surprised. It's an amazing book. So that's, that's why I have. Codename Verity, which I borrowed from Stephanie and is a very good book. It is about uh, a spy and a pilot in World War II. Everything, everything. That is what this book is about. I have no idea. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Again, no idea what it's about, but Steph recommended it, so... There we go. Well, buddy, read it. Do, do, do. There were these two guys who were like, oh, those are the last two books in the Maze Runner. I was like, cool, I bought the Maze Runner the other day for a dollar. And then I was like, are you going to take them? And they're like, oh, no, go ahead. So there they are. Yay. They have names. The Scorch Trials and The Death Cure. I think there's a fourth one. But, oh. Wow. Well, um, um, and then the green glass sea. I don't remember exactly what it's about, but it's on my list to read for this fall. So I will do my nonfiction first. Yes. Angel is Ashes by Frank McCourt. McCourt. The story of Madame Curie, Marie Curie. The glass castle, which I've heard is incredibly sad, but based on a true story. So I would like to read that. I am sorry. I'm not going to get this name right, but I will try. Um, I am Najoud, age 10 and divorced. And I feel like that is an important thing for us to look at. So here it is. I have one nonfiction. It's a cookbook. <laughs> Recipes from my home at Asian American Comfort Food. Um, Christina Ha. She won like the third season or so of MasterChef. And I love watching cooking shows and then pretending I can cook. It's great. She's not pretending. <laughs> She's very good. Uh, these are our classics that we got. Classic mm -hmm. books. Yep, so this is the best Christmas pageant ever. This is a family classic on my husband's side of the family, so that will be fun. Yeah. Cheaper by the Dozen, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. This is a pretty one. Grimm's Fairy Tale. That's very pretty. 
What do you like? I like it. Okay. So this is The Call of the Wild. Less pretty, but probably still a good story. Five Little Peppers and How They Grew. The Swiss Family Robinson. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Where the red fern grows, the color purple. I got that one too. We had two different ones. Oh. I like yours. Really? The color purple. Okay. The War of the Worlds. All right, man. HD Wells. That's so cool. Did you know that they, when they did the first audio thing of this, people actually thought it was happening because yes. they were playing it on the radio and people thought the world was actually ending. Smart. The Little Mermaid and other tales. Hans Christian Andersen tales. <laughs> okay, all right. Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. To Kill a Mockingbird. I really like this book, but the one I have is falling apart. It's one of my favorite books. It's good. <laughs> if you haven't so read it, you should read it. read it. You've read it. Yes. Mark hasn't read it. Nazi. So, you claim to be Steph's biggest fan. <laughs> This is what you must do. You must read this book. Read Das book. Read it. Read Das book. Read it. Okay. And then you'll be the true number one thing. Okay. I don't know. Who are we kidding? Of course he is, but you know. All right. And then, as you all know, Steph has... Steph. <laughs> Link all bars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steph loves Agatha Christie. So we got a bunch of Agatha Christie. I, I've only read one... Um, Which one? That'll be the last one I tell you. <laughs> we have Curtain. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Poor bloke. You have two of those, you know. I really wanted him dead. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Death on the Nile. The Underdog. And other stories. Partners in Crime. The Mystery of the Blue Train. Different from the Orient Express, which is a red train. The blue train. Murder on the Orient Express. Again, <laughs> I, I missed that I had to. Uh, the murder of Roger Ackroyd. This will be a birthday present for somebody. I don't know. Murder at the Vicarage. Evil under the sun. And then there were none. <laughs> Book drop. <laughs> and I got the color purple, as you saw. And then I got three books and one for Agatha Christie, Murder on Board, three complete mystery novels, Murder on the Blue Train, Death is in the Air, and What Mrs. McCudley Saw. Ding. M McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy. That's why I keep it around. It's not yeah. a pretty copy, but I do like to have some of the older copies. And I also got a nice old 60s version of Ooh. Gone with the Wind. I don't have this book. I should get this. I should get this one. I And so what's, what's cool about the library sale is they're constantly putting out new books. So you'll like go through an area and then they come and they fill in all the blanks with new books. So then you feel like you have to go again. So that's not the cool thing to me because then I felt like they had undone my progress. Yes, so. a little bit because I found this one after I'd already gone through and decided they had no good classics. Well, but okay. Boom. What can you do? Uh, next we have our adult fiction books. Our adult fiction books. Uh, we have Orphan Train. I haven't read that one, but it sounds really good. Yeah. Code Talker, about the Navajo Code Talkers in World War II, so that I am really excited to read. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and The Girl Who Played with Fire. And, <laughs> and The Girl with the Glare on the Ball. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I tried. The Golden Compass, A Walk to Remember, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, a difficult movie, but you should watch it. Station Eleven, yay! I am currently borrowing Steph's copy, so now I can give it back. Yay. Birds of a Lesser Paradise. This is an ugly bird, but I like birds. And I read the inside and I thought, I'll well, try The Notebook by Nicholas Fox. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. The Help, The Nightingale, which came recommended by Stephanie. By Kristen Hannah. Look at this cover, you guys. It's pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. Now, the funny thing about this, though, <laughs> that it's, like it's large, large, print. large print. Super large print. So I can read it from here. <laughs> from across the room, maybe. I actually probably could. <laughs> The Nanny Diaries. This looks like fun. It so. does. Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Not yeah. the model. The Red Tent and the Shofar Blue. <laughs> the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. The number one ladies detective agency. There is a TV series, I don't know if it ran for very long, that this book is based off of. And my dad gave me the first season. He's like, oh, you would love this. It takes place in Botswana and you would love it. And uh, that's where I met my husband. And so I thought, oh, that was really cool. So read the book. Eve by William Paul Young. I have not read this, but I'm interested in reading it. And then I have five copies of The Shack. <laughs> this is a book Steph doesn't like, but that's okay. I really like it. Um, <laughs> and I, I, 
I got a bunch because I keep giving it away because I'm like, guys, you should read this book. This is why. And then I'm like, here, you can just have a copy. And I have given like 10 away. And so I don't have one anymore. So and you can give four more away. So then we have some red wall books, but not actual red wall. That's okay. We have Martin the Warrior, Salamandastron, Matimeo. Oh, we do have red wall. Like Brian that. Jakes. The Amazing Maurice. <laughs> the Amazing Maurice and his educated rodents. Not quite the Pied Piper they were expecting. This is Terry Pratchett. I've only read a little bit of Terry Pratchett stuff, but I really liked it. So I need more Terry Pratchett in my life. The Martian by Andy Weir. Yes. I just read that. And according to my brother-in-law who worked for NASA, a lot of the theory in this is sound. So very cool. The Hunt for Red October, A Time to Kill. The movie was really good. Yes, it was terrible, but good. Yeah. The Testament, I started reading this when I was trying to stave off jet lag and then I never got to finish it because I left the country. So did it can... help with the jet lag? It did but I couldn't remember what the book was until McKenna was over for pizza night. And I was like, there's this book and it has a riverboat on the front. And it's about a lawyer. And she's like, that's a testament by John Grisham. I was like, go McKenna. Oh my gosh. She gets blonde points. So I basically, I'm okay with the in-depth series by JD Robb. Boom. Um, but I only buy them at this year's sale when the books are a dollar and two dollars. Though The price went up to 150, 250 monsters. Uh, so I, this year I got secrets in death. I got death of the night. I got Rapture and Death, Memory and Death, Echoes and Death, or Echo, oh yeah, Echoes and Death, and Judgment and Death. And it's a series that I've read some of, and I like it, but I started collecting it, and I have almost all of them, so I just might as well finish collecting it, you know. Sue Monk Kid wrote Secret Life of Bees, which is a book that I very, very much enjoyed. Oh. So I got The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kid, strictly because I like Secret Life of Bees. That's that, awesome. That's why I got this one. And then I have another Sumo Kid in here somewhere. I'm sure I will get to it. I got the gold, the Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This was really big just a few years ago. Boy, you really can't see that. And uh, yeah, I just got it because it sounded good. The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown. This is one my sister. Wow, you really can't see that. There you go. My sister and I got uh, both read this a few years ago, and it's about three sisters, and we are four sisters, but it's still They're weird. <laughs> we are weird. It's still <laughs> very much applied to us, and I like. Family books, like books about family dynamic, siblings, families, <gasps> stuff like that. Uh, I got The Handmaid's Tale by um, I have Margaret read, Atwood. I want to. I haven't either. I, I don't own any other Ma Margaret Atwood. So this is the first one I own, out. so I'm kind of excited about that. In Her Shoes by Jennifer Weiner. This is actually, oddly enough, this is based on a movie that was had Tony Collette and uh, Cameron Diaz in it. And I had a conversation with a client about the movie the other day. And she said the book was better than the movie. And I said, I didn't know it was a book. And then I saw this. So I was like, well, uh -huh. hot dog. Okay, here's the other Sumunk kid. Um, the Mermaid's Chair. I have no idea what this is about. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I got that one. Uh, the Name of the Star, which this one, I read the synopsis, and this is about the time of Jack the Ripper. And the reason he got away with everything is because nobody could find him. Because uh, he would disappear. But this girl can see him all the time. Like, she can see him when he wants to disappear. So it's kind of a supernatural one. It sounds interesting to me. I also got From Dust and Ashes, A Story of Liberation by Trisha Goyer. I don't know what it's about, but it's about World War II, and that's all I need to know. I'll probably read it and cry, because that is what I do. I got The Underground Railroad. Boy, that sticker is very ill-placed. Books to go. <laughs> Books to go. Uh, by Collis and Whitehead. I don't know what it's about, except The Underground Railroad which is enough for me to want to read it. I got uh, Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers, which is the first one in the trilogy. Funny thing is, I got the second one last year. No, I got the third one last year, so hopefully I can get Have you the... read them? I've read the first two. Okay. They I've good. not read the third one, and I, like I just got it. This is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova, and I read this years ago by the same person who told me to read Mistborn, and it was quite good. It's pretty dark. It's kind of a vampire-y, like, Dracula-esque book. Um, not a Twilight one. Dracula. But it was very good. Definitely liked it. The Kitchen House by Kathleen Grissom. Grissom. Is one that was referred to me by a person in real life, which doesn't happen very often. I can't remember what she said about it, but she said I would love it. And so I'm just going to read it. That's what I'm going to do. And we actually don't know all the books the other one got because we were kind of off doing our own thing. So. Okay. Assassin's Apprentice, Robin Hobb. And I, I know you didn't love it. I didn't love it, but I feel like I could I love it. it. Like, 
I feel like I really could like this book. Maybe I wasn't in the right mood for it. I will continue on in the series though because there were characters that I did like. It just wasn't fast moving. And I've had it confirmed for yeah. me that it was not going to be fast moving. It is more of an epic and you need to just be in it for the long haul. And I was like, okay, long haul it up. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. I read this years ago and I really liked it and I can't remember a thing about it. So I guess <laughs> time to read again. Veronica Mars, A Thousand Dollar Tan Line. I didn't know by Rob Thomas and Jennifer Graham. I didn't know that there were any Veronica Mars books. I loved the TV show forever ago. Loved it. So, hey. The Nanny Diaries. I got one too. <laughs> you can kind of see it. Boy, white just does not show up on this. I got two Ken Follett, like, five pounders. I got Fall of Giants and Winter of the World. Ugh. These are heavy ones. Because I'll be giving Ken Follett a, a shot soonish. I also got Guernsey Literacy and Potato Peel Pie Society. Naomi found it for me. I found two. I was so oh, happy because I read it and I loved it and I'm like, I want to read it again. And then I got three Dresden Files, which I enjoy the Dresden Files. I got Small Favors, Cold Days, and Turncoat all in hardback, which I was okay with softback, but I got them in hardback, so woot. And I got High Rulin? Rulane? Rulane I don't know. by Brian, I'm going to say Jake's. <laughs> we have most of those, but we don't have those. The last two I actually didn't get at the library sale. I got them at Barnes & Noble yesterday, but they were on sale. So I was excited. This is time travel short stories, which you can kind of see. It's so pretty. <clears throat> and then the... science fiction short stories. They're so pretty. Like it's they're got so detailed. silver filigree yeah. on here. It's very it's beautiful. Pretty. And they were cheapity cheap. So I was excited to get them. And I'm really excited about all the new books because I'm going to be redoing my shelves. I'm excited. Steph has a lot of bookshelves. She has some here. She has some over there. And then there. They're everywhere. Oh, oh yeah, I'm like oh, household books. So they had actually really good selection of uh, manga while we were there, which I was impressed with, and some graphic novels. So I got two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steph beats me by a long shot. This is the Return of Zeta, the Space Girl. I got uh, the first book um, at a kids' consignment sale for one dollar, um, and then I got the City of M. Oh, that looked cool. Mm -hmm. So. And it's a graphic novel that's stupid cheap for that's, a graphic novel. It buck is. 50. Yeah, these were all a buck fifty, and they had a huge table of them, and I kind of went there first and took all of the books. I do that sometimes. So they had a few of the Bones, the uh, the graphic novel, the Bones one, this one. Uh, they had volume one, two, six, and nine, and so I have them. And I thought they were cute. I read the first, like, two or three I don't know, earlier this year. I got Naomi Stealing. I got the second and the third Percy Jackson graphic novel. As a gift for Naomi. It's cute. Super cute. I did get Star Wars Rebellion, which this one's actually pretty beat up, but I do enjoy the Star Wars ones. I read Han Solo for the graphic novel readathon, and I liked that one. And this one was just called Olympians Athena, Grey-Eyed Goddess. I accidentally got it. I didn't mean to, but it found its way into my box, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> All the rest of what I have here, you guys, I am going to show you, but it's, um, this is all manga. All of it. I have a whole box of it because I was looking at it and I was texting April Sarah and I was like, I don't know manga, which is good. And she's like, that one sounds good. This one sounds good. So I got what they had. They had my Heavenly Hockey Club and they had the first one. So I got it. I have no idea what it's about, but most of these, they didn't have the first in the series. So I got that one because they had the first in the series. I also got Stepping on Roses. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce any of these people's names, so hate me if you will. I got Beauty Pop, uh, three, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Like I said, they don't have all of them. So I'll have to find the first few somewhere else, but I do not know what this is about. If you know what any of these manga are about, please tell me down below because I would love to know. I also got Alice... In the Country of Hearts, I got two, three, four, five, and then this one is Alice in the Country of Joker. So I don't know what these are about, but they sound kind of interesting, and I'm going to have to see if my library has the first one or if maybe I have to buy them. The biggest score I got is uh, ooh, Rianu Kenshi? Kenshin? Rurani? Rurani Kenshin? Yes, Rurani Kenshin. Rurani Kenshin. Uh, they have 28 of these. This is number 28. I have all of them, but number one and number 23. They had, I started collecting them to kind of make them neater. And then I was like, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take these. <laughs> so I have them. I have them here. And I'm excited to read these. I just have to find the first one somewhere so I can read that one first. I don't know what this is about, though my husband was even like, oh yeah, I've heard of that one. And I was like, really? So I'm really excited. Manga is expensive, you guys. Yeah. Like they will charge you, this one says $8 here. I see them for like almost 20 see. most oh, of the time. Wow. So I'm wondering if this is old or not. I don't really know. But they were $1.50 each. So you can be jealous of me. Cause that's amazing. So that is it. That is our ridiculously huge haul of 105 and you had 157. Seven. So our 262 book haul. You're welcome. Hopefully this was an insanely long, I have a feeling it will be insanely long. So hopefully you can enjoy an insanely long video. Courtesy of lots of books. Of lots of books and a book sale. This is literally my favorite day of the year. It is better than Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Seriously. Take that Santa. <laughs> Santa, we're really Santa. He give me a book sale. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the awesome books that we hauled. I want you to comment down below if you've read any of these, what the best book or best two or three, since we did get so many of them, are that you have read, or maybe comment down below with one of the books that we got that you want to read as well. Please comment with any information on the uh, manga that I got because I know nothing. <laughs> I'm just blindly buying manga. Okay. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe. I post videos Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and I can just plan to see you guys then. Goodbye. Okay. I'm just gonna do... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get it so we're mostly just seeing your eyes. Okay, at this point, Good balancing. Good job. Then I'm gonna put some on top. You were doing so well. Thanks. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scratch your nose. There, how's that? Can you see your face? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. <laughs>